This is waiting for people to join. Okay. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Can yeah. I just want to make sure because sometimes it could be like an echo. So I like I, I got my headphones just in case. Okay. No. It's just like back in my life. So I was like, sounds good. My headphones, just in case. Okay, six people. I'll give them like two. You say? I'll give them like a minute or two, like for okay. more people to like get them. Yeah. I know how that is. Instagram notification. If this phone is jiggling a little bit, just bear with me because it's on like a uneven platform. Okay, that's fine. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, every time I move, it's like moving with me. Okay. I'll start. Question. It was like nine people. I feel like they're slowly coming in. Yeah, that's cool. I'll give them a minute. I want to also um, make sure I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Your last name, Lamar. 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 Okay, I said it right the first time, and then I was like, maybe it's the other way. Okay. Yeah, some people get confused because usually with Lamar, it's no e at the end, and it's one r, but yeah. it's Lamar. Okay, I'll start. So my name is Queen C. I'm the brand representative of Ayers Entertainment. And today we have the beautiful R&B soul artist, Jess Lamar. And um, she's all the way from Cali. So we can start. So how are you doing right now, like with everything going on, like with the pandemic and how is it like working and stuff? I'm good, I'm good. I think the pandemic has caused me to reflect mm -hmm. and stay creative um, amidst, you know, not having any distractions before I think I was so like wanting to be busy all the time that I was getting distracted from the things that I actually needed to focus on. So I think the pandemic was a good way to kind of just own me down and help me to focus on what it is that I actually need to focus on, like reading and studying up on the business and um, just being creative without the, dis the distractions. So it's been actually quite like pleasant. A, yeah, that's really <laughs> like good. a reset kind of, you know, <laughs> like it's like everything kind of like calmed down so you could kind of focus on yourself. Right. On the things that typically no, artists don't tend to focus on because we're so used to being creative mm -hmm. that um, we don't focus on understanding the business side of it and even mm -hmm. the musical trends and getting my business into, together. So, yeah, that's what I've been focusing on. Okay, that's good. Um, mm -hmm. Well, for people who are just joining, I'm just going to tell them. So we're interviewing Jess Lamar on, like, her insight as... So everyone has, like, an insight on, like, her day in the life as like an independent artist and what inspired her to do music and everything. So um, I'm gonna start, how did you come up with your artist name? Um, Jessica Lamar is my birth name. Mm -hmm. So I wanted something a little bit different. So we just cut it short, um, mm -hmm. Jess Lamar, cause I didn't want it to be so many cinnamon, synonyms, Jessica mm -hmm. Lamar. So just Jess Lamar. Um, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, nothing to it, really. Yeah. <laughs> um, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then I later moved here in uh, 2015 to L.A. 
Okay, do you feel like there's like a big difference, like living and then living in Cali? Oh yeah. Well, one, the weather is completely different. Um, two, the industry is uh, more prevalent here, so it's easier to network. But one thing I can say about Detroit is there's so much talent in Detroit and Detroit has taught me um, my hardcore grind. Like it taught me how to work, you know? So it's, it's easier to come out here to some place where it's very fast paced and kind of fit right in because I'm so used to the grind. I actually love the grind. I love to be busy. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, but yeah, very different. Mm -hmm. um what does your day in the life as an independent artist consist of like how would you um, like to yeah I try to keep myself on a schedule so that I, I steady am pr being progressive throughout the day especially during the pandemic because there's really nothing else to do so I um try to keep myself as busy as I can try to stay creative I free write in the morning um, I do exercise to kind of get my blood going. Um, I walk outside. I love being outdoors. Um, I kick it with my team just to see where we're at with things. What else? Sometimes I play dress up. <laughs> Sometimes I play with my makeup. Um, you know, just typical things that girls do. I, I read a lot. So I read books. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. And I like to eat. So yeah <laughs> I, I snack quite a bit <laughs> but yeah what inspired you to become an artist like to make music and stuff well I learned that at a very young age that music was extremely powerful and I learned that because I was asked to sing at my fifth grade graduation the song hero by Mariah Carey and at the time I didn't really have a clue that I can my parents told me that I can sing but I didn't really have a clue that I can like sing sing so um I was in front of this big audience had my eyes closed super nervous um sung the last bit of the song which was the biggest part of the song and um opened my eyes and to my surprise the whole crowd not the whole crowd I'm exaggerating but most of the crowd was crying uh -huh. and so that for me kind of sealed the deal I was like okay music is powerful and influential and I can find my voice through this and I enjoy it. So that's how I got my start. And then I later transitioned um, to singing into groups, singing in groups, sorry, and then transitioned to being a fellow artist. Okay, that's really cool. Do you have any musical inspirations that you look up to? Um, Michael Jackson is my all time favorite. He's like the first person that I like fanned over as a little girl watching him. Um, speaking mm -hmm. of his artistry only, but um, yeah, he's just an amazing talent. Um, also Aaliyah, who was also from Detroit. Um, Charlie Wilson, Whitney Houston, Selena, Sade. And um, I listen to all types of music. So this list can be very, very long, but yeah, that's about it, I think. <laughs> well, those are all amazing artists. Um, what do you have coming for the remainder of 2020? I'm just pushing this this project. I just released a project called Phases Of. Um, and it's kind of like my baby, so to speak, because it is my first um, project as a solo artist. So I'm just pushing that, pushing that, pushing that and, you know, trying to get it as much exposure as I can, you know, as an independent artist, you don't really have that big, you know, um, marketing and distribution going behind you. So you just got to push, 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 push. So I'm just working to just get the word out and then my music out. Yeah, that's really good. Um, can you tell us more about your concept behind Phases Of? Yeah, so Phases Of um, initially was actually going to be called Phases of Love. And um, it was kind of a double entendre because at the time I was going with the stage name Just Love. So um, we thought of Phases of Love, which kind of spoke to me. But the songs, um, 
I realized all the songs were focused around relationships, the ups and downs, ins and outs. We all know that love is not pretty all the time. So, and there's many phases to it. So um, with that being said, we, we decided to call it phases of, to speak on the many colors of love. That's so true. That's very true. If there was one that you can say to your fans and supporters as a boost of like motivation, what would it be? Keep going. Don't give up. I can't lie and say that you're going to have times where you don't want to quit because you're going to have times where you're going to want to quit. You're going to have times where you're going to be tired. You're going to have times where you're feeling motivated and inspired, but you just got to keep on pushing through that. You know, which also speaks kind of towards the project, too, because I feel like my relationship with music has been up and down, (laughs) in and out and crazy. So it doesn't necessarily have to be relationship with a person. It can just be relationship with anything. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, We look forward to, like, everything else that you have up and coming for the remainder of the year and moving forward. Um, everyone should follow her on all her social platforms on Instagram um, check out her latest album Phases of I listened to it and it was really amazing like I love it thank so, you check it out and thank you thank you that was fun yes nice meeting yeah nice meeting you too <laughs>